Hello and welcome back to Canoe EXP. Today we're down in a valley not far from where the HQ is and we're going to do a walk around these lovely engine houses. So let's just show one's face shall we? Hi folks, so yeah welcome back. So we are down in this valley near Karn Kai. We're here just to walk about and a little bit of a drone flight. This is Boxing Day. So I hope you're all good, hope you had a good day yesterday. So let's go for a walk, shall we? So we're right by this beautiful engine house here. This was a pumping engine and it was designed to pump the water from that shaft right there. So let's go for a little walk, shall we? The bike should be all right there. So here's down in the shaft, look. You can probably hear the water down there. Then we've got uh, the plug doorway right here. That's called the cataracts down there, so all the weights and everything were down below. And then you've got up inside the engine house. You've got three chambers there. Right, come on, let's go. So we had a great Christmas. We had lots of uh, presents and uh, we had family members over and uh, my son got what he wanted, which is really good. And we had a lovely little buffet yesterday, or in layman's terms, a buffet. <laughs> so we're just taking our time here because it's a little bit boggy, as you may have guessed. Um, so today we've got a Boxing Day roast dinner, folks. Whoa, looking forward to that. So that's why we're out now <coughs> filming before our dinner and also another reason the weather is meant to go down the pan a bit so that's another reason why we're out right now filming to uh, to make sure we've got enough uh, to be going on with so this valley is steeped in mining history i've never been underground here before but obviously we have been underground a few times we usually do it once or twice a year uh, this year we have been underground once but uh, I wasn't feeling the love this year, so uh, in the new year, a couple of months down, down the line, we will be venturing back underground again. But I think we're going to make it a feature this year, or next year, sorry, and make more of an effort to uh, do a bit more of it, because we've got all the correct git, kit, sorry, and uh, there's no reason not to, really. Now, which is the way up? I think it's this way. Yeah, I do. Right. So we're going to an engine house up the top here, which was utilized for power, for running the, um, the mill below us here. Uh, it's not a conventional mill, it's a, a mining mill, which are, you would have uh, processed the ore by means of buddles and crushers and stamps and all that jazz. So the stamps would have been right up by the engine. And uh, we will have a look at that. So we're just taking our time. So you can see the building's just ahead of us here. Now we did do a ghost investigation here some time ago, but never really got a great deal. So we've got more specialized kit for that now. So we probably will return in the new year. So we're just outside this building here now, and we're just walking in. Now, this is quite a special one, I believe. I think this might be a calciner, but if you know, folks, you put it in the comments. Now, I do know a fair bit about mining, but the processing side of it does elude me a little bit, to be fair, folks. Right, okay. Down the steps, way hey. There we go. Right, so now we shall go in this next, uh, next building here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh dear, dear, dear. Don't know where that came from. So we've got uh, other remains to the left, but you can't really get in there. Not really, it's not very, not very good. Right, there we go, folks. Look at that. 
amazing, isn't it? Usually what happens to these buildings, right, such as over in the valley, which we're going to go over and have a look later, is the top, top window part is always robbed out and it doesn't always survive. But this one is, is here and is a survivor, which is good. I'm glad to see it's there. Okay, so this would have been quite an ornate building back in the day because of the these windows folks these windows would have been something else there's a hole there that oh god nearly went down a hole then yeah i don't know what that's all about perhaps that stone's been repurposed that's what it looks like to me so down here below us we've got a buddle and that's where the ore would have been um separated the good stuff and the bad stuff basically there's a series of those in here and i'm not really sure if those were inside or out i'm, I'm assuming that this bit here um was outside so but there's your possible calciner there and i'm assuming that this other building here was a separate entity so this wasn't undercover this is what i'm i'm kind of guessing but uh, without studying the map we're not going to know so we've got another another kind of room here where there was possible a small little steam engine the reason I say that right is because of this curve here and then if you look on top here this does look like a base of a small little rotary steam engine which provided power possibly for line shafting that possibly would have been in, in there and the, so the cylinder of the engine probably would have been here and you would have had your slide rod and then you would have had your um, connecting rod here and then the crank possibly would have been here and then your, your wheel would have been here so there possibly would have been a wheel right here with a belt on it which then went up into the building which caused provided power basically for the the line shaft in of course it would have been geared down so you you wouldn't really necessarily think that that would power a whole line shafting but like i said if it was geared down it would it definitely would so let's uh let's go down here bit more. Yeah, I'm fairly convinced that would have been outside out there. So, what have we got here then? So we've got like a, that's a good bud, couple of buddles down there folks. Look, look at those. They're in good one, look, good order. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that would have been outside. And of course this window that we're at now, that would have been a sash window. Uh, would have been quite nice in here actually quite nice so let's have a look uh, down here briefly now, there is a bit of a path here I'm not sure how far we're going to go with this not that far I don't think not that far so we've got some kind of something down there and we've got the side of the building here and there too so I think I, it's a good photographic moment right now, so I better multitask, which is hard for me. All right, bear with me, folks. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a, a nice little picture. All right. All right, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make our way back and then go up to the engine house and then I'll start my drone survey and then we'll have to go to the other side of the valley so yeah right okay so I hope you're all good I hope that uh, Father Christmas bought, brought you what you wanted and I hope that uh, you're all happy and content because that's what we need to be basically right that's enough pictures there let's just get off that 
Right, okay. Right, I'm just going to put that away a minute, folks. Multitasking again. Whoa. Right, okay, let's go. I should have put my belt on today. Never mind. Yeah, I think we're going to come back here um, possibly January, February to do a ghost hunt with all the kit. And we've got like a seating area here, so that would be good. Because there's bound to be lives that were lost here. Bound to be. Heavy engineering and all that jazz. Right. So let's, uh, let's go up here and have a little look. Right, so there's, there's the engine house. Now, there would have been a boiler house connected to that, and it probably was on this side of the engine house because over here we've got this chimney. Now, in case you didn't know, chimneys, right, on Cornish mining sites, the reason why they have them is basically for draft. So the higher the chimney, the more draft you've got on your boilers. So therefore, you can run the engine a bit quicker and then you can make, speed up the stamps or whatever you're doing, so therefore more production. So, you know, faster you go, more production, more money, basically, at, at the end of the day. <coughs> so, we're going to have a little look here, and then that will be the end of this video. So, I hope you enjoy what we've done, what we're doing here in Cornwall because we are based exclusively here in Cornwall and uh, so here's this is where the two big wheels would have been and basically there was a connecting rod up above which then provided power to any apparatus that was being utilized so it looks like we've got another chimney here I'm not really sure what that is all about uh, possible, ow, just impaled myself, which is not a very wise thing to do, is it, really? I can't remember the last time I was up here, quite some time ago. Right, so here we are, this is the engine house, and we can actually still see some of the cement render around the window um, surrounds, and you can actually see the pattern, what they've done to beautify it, so I should imagine that would have been whitewashed and also you can see it up above there as well. Right, so of course just looking briefly at the, the blocks here you can just make out a ghost of a, a, a round, that's actually where the cylinder was. 50 inch, 40 to 50 inch I should imagine. Now this engine house was quite unusual because it utilised two bobs one at the back of the engine house and the main one at the front, which is very unusual indeed. Right, well, hope you enjoyed our little walk around West Wheel Bassett. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it does help, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers and gone.
Right, so I do hope you enjoyed today's little stomp about and drone flight. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button, and we'll see you later in the week. Cheers.